The first aspect in the action model is the characteristic that we call confidence. Now, as we unpack confidence in the different manners, it's made up of primarily three different things. The first thing is our confidence is always based on our faith. Now, no matter what your faith is, or where you believe, and your cultural, and your upbringing, and your peers, and where your support is, but whatever faith that we have, whether it's faith in tradition, or faith in God, or faith in just ourselves, it's a huge aspect of our confidence. We are more confident with a greater faith. The other aspect that makes up our confidence is definitely education. The more we educate it, and it doesn't necessarily need to be formal education, it could be education just based on reading. I myself um, have become an avid supporter, um, attender of the out-of-school adult education, uh, a number of courses at community centers. Our local high school up here runs 400 courses every year for the parents. And we go along and we tend, and some I've taught, and there's a host of online education with a number of different platforms. And you can attend these courses mostly for very little money or even free, and you can get top quality education. But education also comes from reading, constantly reading. The you know, goal is to read at least two books a month, and that's a very low bar. Some people are reading two, three books a week, and that's great. But, you know, kind of if you're not reading, go out and buy a book, you know, and try something easy. Don't go into War and Peace and go and take out a 600-page book out of the library or go buy something heavy. Start off small, but learn. And kind of build a ratio between novels and entertainment and learning books and have that balance sort of a two to one is where I find I'm really good at just to give my brain time to like filter and get that because I'm also involved in a whole lot of online online learning courses so it's great six seven courses a year would do you a world of good go out there build that confidence through education the third aspect of confidence is experience. Now, you know, everybody in the world wants everything instantly. I find so many guys are coming out of school and they're youngsters and they say, you know, I want, I want your experience. If only I could be you and know what you do. Now, the problem with experience is that three years of experience takes three years. And you're not going to necessarily hurry up that experience by doing other things. Experience comes with time and experience takes time. So to build up that experience you need to be at it. In Gladwell's book um, Outliers he talks about overnight successes being successful always preceded by 10,000 hours of preparation. That's about 10 years. And it's quite a lot of work, it's quite a lot of time. So if you've been in the industry for 10 years, you should be ready for an overnight success. And where people look at you as an authority. So your confidence is made up of these three primary factors. There's a bunch of other stuff, but I just want to focus on these three. Is that you know your faith that we almost stand on, it's like our foundation. And then our two legs that we stand upon that is our education and experience. Those three create such a solid um, sense of confidence within ourselves that we're able to tackle almost anything that lies in our path. Ha! But there's a twist. We're going to get on to the other factors in the next video.